Okay guys, as I'm proceeding to get eaten to death by the insane amount of mosquitoes out here, we're going to be talking about the Cold Steel SRK versus the very well-known Glock FM81 field knife. So, without any further ado guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Okay, so we ran both of these knives through a few tests, uh, primarily concerning uh, batoning, feather sticking, and notching. These are some of the most important survival tasks, uh, just general purpose, whether you're trying to, you know, get firewood ready to burn, try to get firewood to the right size, or whether you're trying to build things like traps or different stuff like that. Notching is pretty important as well. So how did these knives perform? Well, they both did very well with batoning. The SRK, with its um, thicker blade just slightly, did a better job, in my opinion, of batoning the wood, but it wasn't a huge difference. I would say a slight win for the Cold Steel SRK on batoning. Um, it just performed a little bit better. And of course, the wider blade, like I said, paired with the thickness of it, as opposed to the very narrow, very small, uh, blade of the FM81, the SRK just came in a little bit better. Now, similar to some of the other tests I've done here, comparing the Glock knife for the FM81 to other knives, uh, the SRK definitely did a much, much better job at feather sticking. Not only is this blade naturally just a pretty good outdoors blade and good at feather sticking and notching and such, um, it just hands down did a much better job at feather sticking. I was able to find my uh, you know, perfect angle, so to speak, and really make curls pop with the Cold Steel SRK. Now, with the Glock Field Knife or FM81, it's very hard to exactly say, but between the grind, the width of the blade, and the bevel, it just seems like you can't find that perfect angle. Either you're glancing off the wood as you try to make the curls, or you're digging too deeply into the wood, and one of those types or, you know, one of those kind of situations seems to be preventing you from reliably making curls and properly feather sticking this blade, or with this blade, I should say. So the FM81 kind of realistically failed when it came to creating feather sticks. So the last one that we did was notching, and this is one that... Given the past performance of feather sticking with the Glock knife, I was not surprised, but it did outshine the SRK. Now, the SRK by no means does a poor job at creating feather sticks or, uh, or sorry, tri sticks or, you know, uh, making notches and such, but the FM81 definitely has a better advantage to it. And I think that might be that it has a pretty high grind, you know, a thinner blade material, as mentioned, and a really narrow, very fine uh, bevel. So it allows it to dig deep into wood and cut cross grain wood very efficiently and very effectively. So the FM81 did a better job there with the kind of cautionary uh, kind of note that this does have a root saw back on this. So you do have to make sure that you're wearing some kind of gloves or some kind of protection for your thumb as bearing straight down on that saw back really can hurt. So you want to make sure that you have some kind of protection like gloves. But if you do, uh, the FM81 is definitely better. If not, the Cold Steel SRK is obviously better. Now the last one that I didn't necessarily test here is fire striking or fire starting and obviously the SRK would easily hands down take that because this saw back will mangle any kind of ferro rod you try to put under it and it's really not that sharp anywhere else along the spine so that means you would have to use the blade but maybe potentially you could also use there is a portion of unsharpened or unbeveled part of the edge so that is potentially a riskier spot but you may be able to strike the ferro rod there either way it's not really what i would consider an effective place or an effective way to use that uh, knife for fire starting so the srk hands down wins in um in that regard so the last thing is just ergonomics i think that ergonomics is going to be a always subjective kind of area 
with knives, but the SRK does feel much, much better in hand, and it feels a lot more natural and comfortable. The field knife, similar to the um, K-Bar, is designed as a very kind of more combat-y kind of knife, so the ergonomics are lacking, and they're not necessarily horrible, but they are, um, I, well, I would almost say more primitive because they just lack kind of realistic contouring and uh, the kind of things that you would want in a handle for prolonged field use. So the SRK definitely takes the cake for ergonomics and handling. It feels better in the hand and of course you're not dealing with any type of fancy combat guard. So anyways, that is the basics to both the SRK and the Glock FM81 field knife. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.